Good morning, Barga. Today is Friday, December the 1st, and here's the heads-up brief for today. Today's production to our clients consisted of a total of 74 issues. Uh, in East Asia Pacific, we covered 41 issues. In South Asia, 21 issues and 12 issues in the EMEA region. I will be briefing you on the major issues of today's production. Hey, Basso, thank you. Let's move on to the major issues today, please. Sure. Uh, starting off with East Asia Pacific, I'll be covering the top two of the 41 issues. In Indonesia, two soldiers were killed in a shootout between the National Armed Forces and the West Papua National Liberation Army in the Paro district in Duga Highland, Papua yesterday. The incident occurred at around 4.18 p.m. Yes, uh, local time yesterday. Meanwhile, the Merauki police in South Papua yesterday confirmed that social media posts warning residents to avoid the Chikombong area were a hoax. The post claimed that there will be a demonstration by the Free Papua Movement in that area to commemorate the Papuan Independence Day today. We covered this as a major development in the Southeast Asia Roundup today. All right. So the incident basically highlights the continued security uh, issues and concerns in the region, along with the capability. In fact, questions the capability of the Indonesian security forces. So let's uh, focus on how the uh, the tensions as well as the insurgency movement evolves in the region and keep our clients accordingly updated. Thank you. Sure. In uh, Australia, multiple pro-Palestine protests and rallies are scheduled to take place today and tomorrow in Victoria and New South Wales. Trade unionists for Palestine will hold a protest rally outside the New South Wales Parliament in Sydney, New South Wales today at 5 p.m. local time. The group will hold another protest tomorrow to block the Zim ship at Swanson Dock in Melbourne, Victoria from 10.30 a.m. till 12 p.m. local time. The community members in Marybeck will carry out a protest rally tomorrow uh, outside the Office of Member of Parliament, Peter Khalil, located at 466 Sydney Road uh, from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. local time as well. Thank you. In South Asia, I'll be covering the top issue of the 21 issues. In Pakistan, unionized industrialists have threatened to hold the citywide strike in Karachi, Sindh province, on December 4th if the government does not reduce gas tariffs. The government had increased gas prices on October 31st as part of its economic reforms ahead of Pakistan's first review of a $3 billion IMF bailout. Industrialists and business owners cited the inability of production units to function at higher gas rates, leading to increased costs. The city is expected to lose $47 million in export revenue during the strike. We covered this as the major de development in the South Asia Roundup today. Yes, so the government accepted aid from IMF, but it's a convoluted cycle between uh, increase in tariffs at the same time, uh, ensuring that the trade unionists and stakeholders in the business environment are uh, pacified. To, to ensure that their concerns are addressed. So it's a tough job being in the uh, in the seat of an economic minister. So we will have to focus on uh, how the economic situation evolves in the near future. Thank you. Sure, uh, we'll be monitoring this closely as well. Uh, in EMEA, I'll be covering the top three of the 12 issues. In Ukraine, the U.S. delivery of long-range missiles to the Ukrainian military will be delayed until next year. U.S. arms manufacturers were firstly approached by Boeing to buy and ship the ground-launched small-diameter bomb to Ukraine. The most optimistic timeline for shipping was around May 2023. However, it got delayed several times before the latest postponement. Ukraine needs long-range missiles to augment the limited number of its Atakams uh, rockets the U.S. has previously provided. We conveyed this to our clients via an advisory message today. All right, thank you. In the U.K., uh, the British government yesterday announced the deployment of a second warship to the Gulf. This comes amid escalating tensions in the region due to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The U.K.'s HMS Diamond is en route to join Operation Kipion, which is the UK's uh, maritime presence in the Gulf and the Indian Ocean. Another warship, the HMS Lancaster, has been stationed in that area since 2022. It is accompanied by three uh, Royal Navy mine hunters. Also, in addition to that, a British-led task force is set to initiate patrols from the English Channel to the Baltic Sea. 
The, the mission's primary objective is to protect Europe's critical undersea cables. This comes after several sabotage incidents took place underneath the Baltic Sea near Estonia and Finland. We conveyed this our clients via an advisory message today. All right. Thank you. Concerning the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, negotiations to extend the humanitarian pause for the eighth day intensify. Qatar, Egypt, and the U.S. have intensified negotiations for Israel and Hamas to extend the humanitarian pause. Yesterday's 24-hour pause ext uh, extension expired at 7 a.m. local time today. Explosions and gunfire were reported in northern Gaza this morning. We conveyed this to our clients also to, via an advisory message today. Thank you, Barcel. Nothing further from my end. Thank you, Barcel. That's it for today.